for asking directions in the middle of nowhere. Say, I don't suppose you've seen any mysterious old buildings in the mountains lately, have you? Wait, aren't you the one who opened the gates? Much as folk here talk about it, you're probably good for a free drink at the inn. I'm looking for the Abbey of the Fallen Moon. It's an obscure temple dedicated to Andra. I'm a gift bearer. My job is to gather tokens of things people want forgotten and surrender them to the Lady of Lament. Best place to do that is the Abbey of the Fallen Moon. Anything that represents a moment or a memory someone wishes to leave behind. Well, love notes, awkward family heirlooms, bad poetry. The kinds of things you want to forget. I might be here a while. Half the villagers have never heard of the Abbey, and the ones that have, no one knows where it is. So I'm trying to think of this as an extended holiday in a remote mining village that smells like fish. You won't regret it. I've got a lovely singing voice. I like her already. So, you said the Eyeless came from the Abbey. I'd heard rumors of the Eyeless, but I always thought that name was a metaphor. Though, I would have called them Mace Hands of Doom, if anyone had asked me. So, this is the mysterious army you've been dreaming about, huh? It's a wonder you're getting any sleep. <sighs> I'm regretting all of my decision-making up to this point. Still, I guess a suicidal plan is better than none. Yeah, there's something I haven't told you. Well, I don't normally talk about this, but you mentioned your awakening. I guess I've had a similar problem. There's something I remember from a former life. Happened hundreds of years ago, but I remember it like it was yesterday. Happened while I was fighting in Old Valia twenty years ago. My unit was camped out in the palace we'd just taken. The others were roasting the last of the Marchesos pigs in the feast hall. So, I went to the wine cellars to fetch a few bottles. I don't know how long she'd been hiding there, but there was this old woman. Must have been one of the servants. She had this wild look in her eyes. I approached her and tried to tell her not to be afraid, that she was safe. She screamed and grabbed my arm. It felt like someone had hit me in the back of my head. I blacked out for a few minutes, and when I came to, she was gone. I took a few bottles up with me, feasted with the rest of the troops. But when I went to bunk, I had a dream. Only it was more vivid than any dream I've ever had. I tasted the sweat on my lips, felt the jungle air on my skin, heard the cries. I asked the other troops. None of them had seen her. Anyway, I laid off the drink for several days, but I kept having the dream. After a few weeks, I, I thought a change of scenery might do me good. Since then, I've been a pirate in the dead fire. A pilgrim in the white that wins. An adventurer in the living lands. And a gift bearer in a shamatal. It was a war. Centuries ago before a deer in unification. I was a soldier then. Led a campaign across the northern forests to subdue some of the outlying Kalkland villages. Brutal work. This was five hundred years ago. When Adir was a folk kingdom on one side and elven country on the other. They fought on and off before they joined. Now the folk and elven rulers marry to keep the peace. Right, the campaign. Lost a third of my forces to the forest, and another third to the elven scouts hiding in it. By the time we reached the first village, we'd crushed their defenses, and they'd bled us. Wasn't much more than children and the elderly left, but they spit on us when we marched into town. 
the village elder surrendered and offered us lodging in the old meeting hall. And when the sun set, they tried to burn it down around us. They barely got a flame going, but that wasn't the point. In their defiance, I saw months more of pointless, bloody battle as we fought for the rest of the region. I had to break them. And I had to send a message to the rest of the villages. So I nailed every last one of them to the trees around the town and left them there to die. That's what I kept telling the troops. But if I'm honest, I was angry. I wanted to see pain. And I wanted to be the one holding a blade. I never remembered more. Eventually, Adir and Colquhoun united. The gentlefolk forgave each other for what they'd done to each other's people. I've done my share of fighting these forty-odd years, but I've never drawn my blade just to watch someone bleed, and I've never drawn it on someone who didn't have his own in hand. So I've tried to tell myself. I told you I was looking for the Abbey of the Fallen Moon so I could leave something behind. There's a pool there. The salt well. It's where gift bearers leave the heaviest burdens. It's said that a person can enter it and leave their own memories behind. Anyway, we should get going. Something I've been saving for better days. And what does the flame reveal? Hard to imagine a whole sect living out here. But I guess that's Even the our point. visitor is to be turned away, he said. What interest would our quarters hold? Our quarters aren't the worry. It's our brothers and sisters below.
course. the flame reveal. Good thing I sold most of my jewelry. Where there's a pick, there's a way. It's here. The salt well. You know, I thought it'd be bigger. Uh, you're worried that when you finally get it, it won't be what you expected. Leeches. Don't remind me. a different person, shaped by a different past. I don't think I could do anything so awful now. <sighs> I was afraid you'd say something like that. Probably is. You don't see that the fixing would only break something else. Only one thing left to do. One of the finest vintages there. It's time to open it. We're enjoying it now. 
The best burdens are the ones you share. Time to make some good memories. <laughs>